Welcome to the first video in this series. I'm going to show you how to build a drone from scratch. This drone is designed for taking photos and video and it should have a flight time of 45 minutes. The last one I built flew for 40 minutes and I think this design is a little better. I don't have a shop or fancy tools like a lathe or a 3D printer. I don't even have a garage. I live in a small apartment and I'll be doing almost everything in my living room. The goal here is to build a professional grade drone with minimal workspace and tools. Whenever possible I'll be using materials from local hobby stores and I'll get the rest from Amazon or eBay. First I need to print out my frame design. There's a link in the description where you can download it. If you print the design actual size you can line up all the parts right on the paper. This is absolutely the easiest way to get everything lined up perfectly. I don't have a 24 by 36 printer, so I'm here at FedEx office with my design on a thumb drive. I only need black and white, and as you can see, a 24 by 36 print only costs $4.69. I always make two prints in case I mess one up. Check your print with a ruler to make sure each square in the grid is exactly one centimeter. Now we're back at my house and there's one of my bar stools. I made that bar stool when I worked in a welding shop, but that's another story. I don't have a table. I have a kitchen counter, but I don't want to tape my drawing to the kitchen counter because I'll need to eat there later. I need something stable and portable. That's why I'm using this cabinet shelf panel I got at Home Depot. Unlike a piece of plywood, it has a perfectly smooth, flat surface. I put a piece of that non-skid shelf liner stuff under it so it won't slide around. Finally, I tape the drawing to the panel and trim off the extra. Once I cut all the pieces, I can line them up by placing them directly on the drawing. Please post your questions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.